what's been your biggest song so far in your music catalog? Um, Real Me. Real Me is definitely the biggest one I got so far. Yeah, it's either Real Me or the one with uh, no cap, Patience. It's called Patience. And why do you consider either of those songs to be your biggest at this point? That's the ones everybody really like know. Like, I won't say everybody, but like my fans, like that's the one. And that's the one I got the most traction. I think uh, Real Me almost got, no. I, I think both of them bitches almost got an M. I know no, the No Cap one is at like 789 something thousand. And I think the Real Me one at about the same shit. So about an M, you know? And what platform are you referencing there on those numbers? Those are on YouTube. Those two are on YouTube. That's the videos I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And are those on your own YouTube channel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hurricane Wisdom on YouTube. You can find me there. Now, in regards to either of those songs, mm -hmm. Are there any unknown facts or stories that's never been publicly mentioned before? Could be in regards to creating them, recording them, or releasing them. Damn, Wait, hold on, <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Okay, are there any unknown facts or stories in regards to either of these songs that's never been publicly mentioned before? Could be in regards to creating them, recording them, or releasing them. Um. Okay, so with the no cap shit, a lot of people think that that was a paid feature. No, that was a off the love feature. Like that boy really fucked with me. I ain't gonna lie. Then we double back. He doubled back again with another feature. You know, cool people, cool people. Shout out Cap. Man. Shout out that boy. Is that other feature publicly available as well? Yeah, I just dropped that one on the newest tape I got called Category Five. So you can go check that out too. I plan on dropping the deluxe sooner or later. We ain't got an exact date for it, but you know. That second feature, care to share the title to that as well for uh, reference? It's called Roly, with me and No Cap. Now, the initial feature you get from him, how did that come about? Do you initiate that? Does he initiate that? How does that work? Um. Okay, so quick fact. No Cap was trying to sign me before we even made the the songs or whatnot. And that didn't even, it didn't go, you know, this, that, and the third. And the label wanted me to, to go link up with him while he was in LA and shit, just, you know, trying to get flights and shit. And he didn't even link up the first time. Like, I think he just got busy. Like, he didn't even hit me, you know? And that's, was nothing wrong with that, cause that's artist shit. Like, you see that when you become an artist. But fucking, after that, like, like, I want to say a couple months, dude hit me because he had a show. No, I hit him because he had a show in, in Tampa, in F Tampa, Florida. I hit him like, I'm going to push up to your show, you know, like just off some off some real shit. Like, you know, I'm about to be over there showing love, you know. And then that boy say, uh, uh, yeah, you want to, you trying to open up this, that, and the third, of course. So I really started all the little movement, the real movement. And then when after the show, he say, uh, I'm about to go to Tally to go do another show. We should make some shit while I'm up there. You know, I would, that's my little spot, so fuck it. We in Tally. We didn't even go to the other show, but we did make some shit. That's where we made Patience at, and boom. It's here now. Now, did you know when you were creating, recording, or releasing either of these songs, that they were going to be one of your biggest, if not the biggest, in your current music catalog. Hell no, nah, man. I feel like nobody ever, ever knows what songs is gonna be there. Like the ones that you like are never gonna be the ones that like it might, <laughs> it might, but didn't work like that for me, man. Now I fuck with all my songs, but those aren't the ones that I anticipated going up, you know. Now, what specifically? led either of these songs to get as far as they have today compared to your other songs? I feel like it's the, uh, just the real nigga in it. Like, you feel me? What you know about that struggle, man? With cars and EBTs, bro. I'm from the gutter one on Netflix, just DVDs. Like, you can't, you can't make no shit up like that. Like, it's just the, uh, what's it called? Authenticity? Uh, is that the word? Authenticity? Authenticity, there you go. But yeah, man, that's that's what it is, bro. Can't beat that. When it came to um, patience, it sounds like you were signed at that 
at that time. But what about the other song? Real me. Yeah, I was you signed all of those. Got it. Do you credit uh, the record label that you were assigned to with the songs to either of those successes? Um, I wouldn't say the success. I definitely give those boys their prop because they open up a lot of doors and shit like that. But I wouldn't say uh the success. I signed because I didn't have a studio. That's really all a nigga needed was a studio, man. I just went to record, bro. So when I got into that motherfucking uh, studio, niggas was just making songs left and right, bro. Just mm, 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 knocking them bitches out. But yeah, man. And for clarification, do you think it was the visual to these songs as in the music video? Well, definitely, definitely, definitely. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out Rich Porter and shout out uh, Counterpoint, man. Fucking videos was gas, bro. Like, real shit gas. That's how you do it, bro. And did both of those names help with both of those songs? Uh, those nah. music videos, or was it one for each? Bridge Porter did um, um, the one with No Cap and Counterpoint Shot Real Me. Yes, sir. Anything else you want to mention about either of these songs or a question you weren't asked? People want to know about any of them. No, nah, not, not, not really. Now, in regards to No Cap, I want to rewind on that for a second. Okay, okay. What's he really like? Mm, I say, bro, real... Real nigga, if I should if I should say, bro, he ain't you not too talkative and shit. Like if bro fuck with you, he fuck with you. It's not gonna be on no, you know, for no slick intentions, like no ill intentions for real. Like bro, genuine ass guy. I'm not gonna say I can't say too much. That's a real dude. There, yeah. facts, 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 facts. And you also mentioned that he wanted to sign you at one point. All right. How did he reach out to you initially? Unless you reached out to him first. I'm pretty sure he reached out to me through Instagram. Yeah. And you mentioned your Instagram in a previous portion of questions, mm -hmm. but just for this portion, for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share that screen name as well? Hurricane.wisdom. Yes, sir. And do you recall the very first time you met No Cap? Um, I met him at that at the the Tampa the Tampa show that he had. Yes, sir. And wrapping up my questions about No Cap here, what's the best advice you received from him, or most important thing you learned being around him so far? Just stage presence, like that nigga can really rock a show. Like I I, I learned a little bit from how he how he you know because you can't just. Take somebody a whole little salt, but you can always learn like what you can do better and what you can, you know, stop doing type. But yeah, just the stage presence, bro, can really just rock out a show. Like, that shit, fa, for real, for real. And you mentioned there's two songs publicly available between you two. Any unreleased music between um, you two? Nah, probably working on getting another one. I don't want to get too many no cap features, but you know, you know, you know, you know. Guys, too. Anything else you want to mention about No Cap here or question you weren't asked, people want to know about him? Um, nah, man. Not too much. <laughs>